Nature is not to be feared blindly, nor conquered recklessly. It demands respect, understanding, and coexistence. Only then can true harmony be achieved. The cause of forbidden stream and a bumbo foctail. Once upon a deep within the heart of a bumbo village, nestled amidst emerald hills and vibrant flora, lay the whispering ribbon of the Mbali stream. Its crystal clear waters set to hold the whispers of the ancestors flowed with an otherworldly serenity, yet a veil of secrecy shredded Mbali. It was a forbidden stream, its bank patrolled by a silent guardian, aka the mighty python. Generation of the Bombo villagers knew the ancient path, aka a creature of immense size and shimmering scales was not to be harmed. He was neither friend or foe, but a protector, ensuring the Mbali's purity. The villagers understood the rules never to kill a snake, especially a gay, and never flee in fear. Should a snake bite, there was no need for panic. The wound, though painful, would heal swiftly leaving only a faint reminder of the encounter. Eke, on a rare occasion, would even share the cool embrace of the Mbali with the villagers, a silent acknowledgement of their respect. One scorching afternoon, the tranquility of a bumble was shattered by the arrival of a stranger. A tall and clock in the dust of faraway lands. He bought the A of a man accustomed to taking what he desired. Drawn by whispers of the Mbali's crystal waters, he approached the stream, oblivious to the villagers' tradition. A young girl, a penny, playing by the Mbali's age, watched in white eyes curiosity as the stranger knelt. He dipped his cup hands into the water, a skull twisting his features at its coolness. Abeni, sensing a transgression, inched closer, her heart hammering against her ribs. As the stranger prepared to drink, a sinuous moment caught his eyes. Eke, a girl scatching the afternoon sun like bonnie's gold emerged from the water, his head held high. The stranger, ignorant of the village law, let out a startled cry, fear, roar, and primal, twisted his features. He fumbled in his cloak, pulled out a wicked lick of knife. Before anyone could react, the blade swung through the air, splashing across Ake's shimmering scales. A collective gasp tore through the village as Ake recalled, a deep glimpsing blooming on his side. A deafening silence descended upon a bombo. Abene, tears welling in her eyes, Watch as Ake retreated into the cold embrace of the Mbali, leaving a drought of crimson staining the water. The stranger, his face a mark of dawning horror, stood frozen, the weight of his transgression settling heavily upon him. News of the attack spread like wildfire through the village. Elders gathered. Their faces aged with worry. The unwritten pact had been broken. A grave insult inflicted upon the protector. The consequences were swift and undeniable. The once vibrant flora wilted. The egg grew thick 
with an oppressive silence, and the animals, usually a constant presence, vanish into the depths of the forest. A shroud of darkness seemed to settle upon a bombo, a stark reminder of the cause that had befallen them. The village council convened, their faces grim as they consulted the ancient school passed down through generations. The punishment for harming again was clear, a grand sacrifice, a life offered in atonement for desecration. Yet the school also held a silver of hope. Eke, despite his formidable nature, was said to possess a heart of compassion. He buried with the same reference accorded to a human being. The cause might be lifted. The burden of choice fell upon the village headman, Baba Iyebi. The man withered by time and wisdom. He understood the gravity of the situation. Sacrificing a life was an agonizing decision. But the alternative, a village succumbing to the cause, was unthinkable. Days bled into weeks, the oppressive atmosphere intensifying with each passing sunrise. Abeni, unable to bear the suffering around her, decided to take matters into her own hands. Though young, she possessed a spirit of vibrant as the Mbali's once pristine waters. Sneaking away from the village under the clock of night, she ventured toward the forbidden stream. Reaching the Mbali's bank, Abeni felt a tremor of fear course through her, but the suffering of her village fueled her courage. She cupped her hands and scoop up the cold water, whispering a silent apology to Eke as she poured the water over the wound on his side. A voice, ancient and powerful, resonated within her mind. Foolish child, the voice rumbled, your village had brought this upon itself. Abeni, her voice trembling, explained the impending sacrifice. There must be another way, she pleaded, a way to appease you without further bloodshed. The voice felt silent, an eternity seeming to pass before it spoke again. There is a way. Eke's voice was softer this time, less with an unspoken sadness. Bring me the one who wounded me. If he truly repents his action, if his heart is pure, then your village may yet be saved. Abeni's heart raised. The stranger despised his arrogance. He acted out of fear and ignorance. Perhaps there was a grimmer of redemption within him. With renewed termination, she returned to the village, sharing a case word with Baba Iyebi. The stranger was found slumbered near the village outskirts. His face ate with regret and a growing fear of the cause that had seeped into every corner of a bombo. Confronted by the villagers, he fell to his knees. His arrogance replaced by a trembling vulnerability. I did not understand, he stammered. I acted out of fear. Baba Iyebi, Eva, the wise leader, saw the truth in the stranger's eyes. Ignorance is no excuse, he said firmly. Yet, regret may open a path to atonement. Come, the pythons await your judgment. Guided by Abeni, the stranger followed the villagers to the Mbali. He stood on the stream's bank, his eyes gas fixed upon the waters where a gay occasionally surfaced. Now a phantom presence beneath the crimson tink water. Each shadow sent waves of guilt through the stranger. 
hours of tense anticipation give way to the setting sun as AK finally emerged. The stranger, breath held in his chest, knelt before the wounded python, extending the knife he had used in a gesture of surrender. AK, his mighty form, a testament to his power, stayed at the stranger, an unreadable intelligence in his amber eyes, in the truth hush that had fallen over the village. The stranger's confession echoed through the evening ear. I was a fool, he admitted. I acted out of fear, out of ignorance. I beg your forgiveness, mighty one. I offer myself to you to face whatever consequences you deem fit. Silence held the world in its grasp. Then with a sinuous motion, the cell shivers through the onlookers, AK slithered forward. The stranger turns, bracing for final fatal strike. Yet the python moved past him, his significant body coming to rest beside the knife. With a gentle notch, he pushed the weapon back toward the stranger. Gaps rippled through the crowd. Abene, tears of relief and confusion streaming down her face. Watch in awe, Eke in a gesture laden with profound wisdom, had chosen mercy. As the stranger held the knife, the crimson stain on Eke's girl shimmered, then slowly faded. His wounds, a testament to the transgression, miraculously healed right before their eyes. The air strong with an energy that was both ancient and new as the cause that had choked the life out of a bombo started to break. The villagers, their hearts swelling with gratitude, understood they had witnessed a miracle born out of true repentance, but their relief was tempered with a heavy burden. The need for a sacrifice undiminished. Each villager glanced at their neighbor, the unspoken question echoing in the gathering dust. Baba Iyebi, his voice carrying the weight of his responsibility, stepped forward. It fell upon me, the leader of this village, to atone for our transgression. I will offer my life in the place of the stranger, for it was under my watch that his reckless act was allowed. The villagers cried out in protest. But Baba Iyebi's resolve was unshakable. As he prepared himself for the ultimate sacrifice, the ground beneath them began to tremble. Ake, a renewed figure, rose from its resting place, his eyes blazing with an otherworldly light. Once more, the ancient voice boomed within their minds. The stranger's repentance has shown me true remorse, Eke proclaimed. The leader's willingness to sacrifice his own life proved the worthiness of this village. No further offering is needed. A wave of jubilation washed over the people of Ebombo. Eke, satisfied that respect, and compassion were not extinguished within their hearts, began to submerge once more. But before the disappearance, he turned toward the humbled stranger. You have learned a valuable lesson. Outsider, Ege's voice held a note of warning. Nature is not to be feared blindly, nor conquered recklessly. It demands respect, understanding, and coexistence. Only then can true harmony be achieved. With those final words, the mighty python dove beneath the surface of the Mbali, the stream slowly regaining its clarity, a sign that the cause had truly been lifted. The stranger, chastened and forever changed, 
was welcomed into the fold of a bumble. The village, though scathed by the event, had found renewal. A deeper understanding of the fragile balance they held with the forces of nature. In the years that followed, the tale of the forbidden stream was woven into a bumble's very fabric. Mother sang lullabies of a case wisdom. Children play games where forgiveness triumph over vengeance. Each generation retold the story of the stranger and the price of ignorance, the weight of redemption, and the profound power of Python's mercy. The Mbale stream regained its pristine purity. It water said to hold even more potent ancestral whispers. Snakes once regarded with a healthy mix of reference and caution became a protective symbol of a bumble. Their presence was understood as a blessing, a promise that the pact between the villagers and the natural world remained unbroken. And though the stranger chose to stay on, ending the trust and friendship of the Ebombo people, his longing for his own distant lands never truly left him. After several years, with blessing and provision from the villagers, he set off once more, a changed man, carrying a tale of Ege and the forbidden stream. News of the Bombo miracle slowly spread through the neighboring villages. Travelers and elders whispered of a place where nature held sway, where respect begot respect, and where even the graves of transgressions could find the path to redemption. Some came with offerings, seeking a case wisdom. Others simply to witness the land where a cause had turned into a proven lesson. As for Abeni, a brave young girl who dared to defy tradition to save her village, she grew into a wise and respected woman. Her courage and empathy became legendary, her voice a guiding force within a bumble. But it was by the bank of the Mbali that she found a deepest solace, the stream holding the echoes of that faithful encounter. The scars upon the land slowly healed, replaced by a lushness that seemed to sing of nature's resilience. Wildflowers bloom with renewed intensity. The calls of bed echoed with newfound vibrancy. A village of Ebombo thrive, their renewed connection to their surrounding, a source of strength and wisdom. Yet the memory of the day the stranger came, the day the mighty Ege was wounded, was never forgotten. Each year, a grand festival was held beside the Mbali. It was a day of celebration, of course, but also a time for reflection. The villagers would adorn themselves in vibrant colors, mirroring the plumage of jungle bed and the petals of exotic flowers. Children would act out the tale, ensuring the lesson of respect and the consequences of ignorance would be aged into their hearts. Baba Iyibi, though aging with each passing season, would always be the one to retell the story in its entirety, stretching the importance of balance. The festival would culminate as Ike himself, a shimmering spectacle, would appear before the gathering villagers. His presence was a blessing, a reminder of the delicate harmony they had nearly lost. And so, the tale of the forbidden stream lived on, whispered on the wind that rushed the jungle leaves and the gentle laughter of every Ebombo child. It was a tale of consequences and redemption, of the enduring power of nature, and ultimately 
the immense capacity for change that exists within the human's heart. The people of Ibombo were forever bound to the Mbali stream, not just by geography, but by a profound understanding of the delicate balance between humanity and the nature world, a balance only preserved through respect, humility, and the enduring bend of the mighty python, A.K. The following are the moral lessons of this story. There are several powerful moral lessons woven into the tale of the forbidden stream. Respect for nature and its inhabitants. We must understand that humans are not the sole masters of the world. We share this planet with countless creatures and forces that deceived our reverence and respect. Disrupting the natural balance can have a day consequences for both nature and ourselves. The danger of the fear of ignorance. When we act blindly, driven by fear instead of understanding, we risk causing harm. The stranger's attack on AK highlight how ignorance about other beings or custom can lead to rash action and unintended pain. Consequences of action Our choices have ripples. Every action, however small, set off a chain of events that impact ourselves and those around us. Sometimes these consequences might be day or unforeseen as demonstrated by the cause that befell upon a bumble, the power of redemption and forgiveness. Even grave mistakes may hold the potential for redemption. The stranger's true repentance and the python's act of forgiveness illustrates that change is possible and it's never too late to make amends for our transgressions. The importance of sacrifice and hardship. Baba Iyebi's willingness to sacrifice his own life to save others demonstrates the profound act of selfless leadership. Sometimes difficult choices must be made for the greater good. The cynical nature of life and balance. The tale emphasizes that there is a delicate balance between humans and their environment. While nature can be wrathful and disrespected, it also has the capacity for forgiveness and renewal. Ultimately, the story of the forbidden stream teaches us the importance of respecting the natural world, the consequences of our actions, and the possibility of finding redemption and restoring our money even after serious offense. Please, if you enjoy this story, subscribe to my channel and join our membership program. Thank you very much.